Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video I'd like to show you real quick how to use sketch uh, blocks in order to fix invalid sketch geometry. If you remember in the previous video I was talking about uh, in previous video series and using sketch blocks to make uh, a more effective uh, SolidWorks model. We ran into some problems when we were borrowing some geometry for the sketch block within an environment of a fully defined sketch and some elements in that sketch. And then when we try to put that block back or try to rebuild that block and make changes to the block, it really caused a lot of problems. But here we could do something very similar. We're going to borrow not just a portion of the sketch geometry that's, uh, that's drawn, that's already been sketched, but borrow it all and throw it all into a block, rotate the block around, redefine some of the relationships, and then uh, move on. So what we did here, what we have here is a casting. The casting had to be rotated to uh, get it, uh, you know, to exchange uh, the elements from the front to the right plane. And in doing so, I had to go down to each, uh, some of these features, not all of them, but some of these features, in order to make changes to it. So right now we're at our feature number 39. We're going to change that sketch 57 and uh, try to uh, fix it. So we have a lot of invalid sketch geometry here, a little bit of green, a lot of yellow, and a, a lot of red here. And the you know, normal procedure here is to go through each one of these things and delete them and uh, you know, try to rebuild our model. But let me show you a quicker way. We're going to borrow all the sketch geometry, create a block, go to green chalk mark once it's done that. We can take our, uh, our blocks here, uh, our single block here, which uh, moves all as one unit. And we're going to make manipulations to it. I'm going to go ahead and rotate the entities. We're going to pick that point. What I've been doing is rotating these by 270 degrees. Green check mark. We're going to drag this to the origin. Now, the only um, relationship we have in here is a coincident relationship with the origin down here, but that'll disappear once we explode the block, which is going to be our next step. So, once we have everything in place as it is, we're going to explode that block. And now we have everything blue. We have no yellow or red, which is really good news because it's a big time saver. So let's go ahead and uh, define this a little bit better. I know that this line and that edge are going to be, I might have to move that off a little bit, but I know that uh, this edge, that line and that edge are going to be collinear. Same way with this edge and this line, that's going to be collinear. As I do this, everything on the left side is going to update too, because that's uh, already uh, uh, has a symmetric relationship after a mirror command before. So that's going to be collinear. This will be collinear. And one last thing is going to be this line, which is a little bit skewed right now. That's going to be collinear with this line. And that line is actually, uh, you know, because this surface is curved, is actually on, uh, on the same plane. So that's all black. That's not black yet because we haven't fully defined that. So as I mentioned before, that coincident relationship will disappear. We put that back, and I believe this needs to be made vertical. So that's black. That's black. Everything should be fully defined, and we're going to rebuild that. And bang, it did the job they were asking it to do. Now, I still got that error up here because I have a lot of other uh, features down here I need to fix. Not every feature because of that rotation of the, you know, the original uh, sketch. Uh, not every feature needs to be updated, but some do. And I believe that uh, out of the next two, only one uh, really needs, needs to be updated. So, yeah, that's kind of ugly. That's not really the design attempt, but we're going to use the same method to fix that too. So I hope that helps. Join me for other videos.